We're the Nottingham New Theatre and we're presenting F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe. Hi, I'm Harry Pavlou and I'm playing Jay Gatsby. I'm Sophie Walton and I'm playing Daisy Buchanan. So I'm Sasha Butler and I'm playing Jordan Baker. Harry Bradley, I'm playing Tom Buchanan. Hello, my name's Nick Gill and I'm playing Nick Carraway. Hi, I'm Gigi George and I'm producer. I'm Laura Jane Bateman and I'm the director. Nick Carraway acts as the narrator and almost sort of observing voyeur of this, of this world, this, this 1920s New York. And at the beginning of the story, he is attracted to this world. But as the story unfolds, he soon realises that this world is, is, is hollow and superficial. Jay Gatsby is obviously one of the great characters of American literature. Um, he's a self-made millionaire, um, secret bootlegger uh, who holds huge parties and has a great reputation for himself. A Daisy Buchanan, um, she's kind of the, the golden girl I guess, and she's kind of um, the one in the middle of it all who gets caught up between um, Gatsby and I guess Tom. Jordan Baker is a great representation of like 1920s kind of jazz era. Tom Buchanan is Daisy's husband and really Gatsby's foil in the story. Um, he's as much of the villain of the piece as you can get. It's Tom's lifestyle against Gatsby's lifestyle that really causes the heated battle because they're both fighting for Daisy and Daisy doesn't quite know which, which side she wants to choose. She's very flirty, but at the same time she's quite ditzy. Um, but she's also very manipulative in the same way. So you can, it's kind of difficult to, to decide which kind of side of her you want to bring out. Gatsby is such a mysterious figure. That's kind of the whole feel of his character. And the way he's written him means he can be interpreted in so many ways. Um, I'm lucky I've had such a good team to work with. Um, like we just, you know, every day we discuss different ways of interpreting the text and how it can be read, but it's choosing what, what the best way of going about playing the character is. So, in terms of making this show work in 15 minutes, um, what we've done is really kind of stripped the story back to, not to its skeleton, but looking at the kind of, yeah, the core of it, the most important elements, and for us, in terms of putting this projection together, it's been very much about the character relationships and looking at the, the human elements of what can be seen to be a very sort of material story. So we, we have, still have the romantic relationship between Tom and Daisy and Daisy and Gatsby and Jordan and Nick, but we also look at the friendship between Nick and Gatsby especially and in that way it makes Nick's sort of mental deterioration make a lot more sense and have a lot more impact because you see how invested he is as a friend in Gatsby and his happiness. We've used lots of non-naturalistic elements in this as well to convey parts that if we had been trying to tell the whole story um, naturalistically just wouldn't have worked for Edinburgh. So we've used shadows and dance to communicate sections of the book which are really important but that we can convey in a more Edinburgh-esque way in order to get the whole story across in the amount of time we've got. We can't afford to have Gatsby's opulence and extravagance, you know, we don't have the space and the time, so what you find more is you get to see the character relationships a hell of a lot more, which is wonderful. And one of the most pure things about Gatsby are the relationships. It's a wonderful piece of literature, and to bring it to life is just an absolute, absolute pleasure. Personally, as a, as a director, I've learned so much. I've learned so much from my team, and it's just so exciting to to take something that I feel like we've all as a company created together and that even though I, I started writing it over a year ago, it's all, it's all our show, it's not my show, it's our show and I think that's just so lovely and exciting. People should come and see the Nottingham New Theatre's production of The Great Gatsby in Edinburgh because we have a really original concept which really reinvigorates the classic novel. It is a stimulating and vibrant story that will resonate with any viewer. Because it's sexy, cool, and we have so much fun on stage, and we really hope it translates to the audience. We bring to life Fitzgerald's classic characters in new and striking ways. 
It's thrilling, it's exciting, and it's just fun. Because it's an adaptation of an old novel in a new, fresh, and exciting way. The Great Gatsby, as you have never seen it before. You can catch The Great Gatsby at Greenside at Royal Terrace from the 6th to 26th of August at 6.30pm.